Hello, my name is Celine Freitag and I'm the admission counselor for the Shrier Honors College and I heard that you might have a couple questions about our application process and things about the Honors College. So why don't I take you on a tour of Atherton and you ask me on your way. Sounds great. What does the application look like? So our first year application process will be comprised of eight short answer questions and two essay questions. This will give us a better insight onto who you are as an applicant. In addition to this, we'll also ask for a self-reported academic record, which will be provided for through your Penn State application. And also two to four letters of recommendation are required too. What is the acceptance rate? Our current acceptance rate for this past application cycle was 22%. So we had around 3,700 applications this past year, and we have 300 spots to fill. So it is a very competitive process. Am I allowed to be in the Honors College and a fraternity or sorority? Of course, we love it when our students get involved in different organizations on campus. We have students who are athletes, who participate in THONG, as well as other community service engagements too. Does the Honors College have a separate building for its classes? Unfortunately, we do not because we are an Honors College that supports all of our students when it comes to their academic learning. You'll just be required to take Honors courses in your specific major. How do we specify which Honors dorm we want to live in? So, we're actually coming up to Atherton Hall right now, which is one of our Honors residence halls that we have for our current scholars to live in. So, as I take you in, you'll be able to suggest whether you want to live in South Housing, and if you choose so, then you'll get placed in on one of the Atherton or Simmons Halls. Great, do the fees differ from Penn State's fees? So slightly, yes. We do have a small $25 fee that will be associated on your account for every year that you're a Schreier Scholar. We do, however, give a $5,000 scholarship every year that you're a Schreier Scholar if you're admitted in your first year. Are there any unique pre-med opportunities that are available to honor students? Yes, we actually have an early assurance program that we have with Hershey Medical School where it is only offered to Schreier Scholars. They will tell around five students who apply in this process if they have a guaranteed spot to be a part of the Hershey Medical School. What specific resources and opportunities does Schreier provide to its students? That is a great question because while this is the residence hall of the Honors College too, it is also the offices of where most of our faculty work and our, our staff work for the Honors College. In here, if you need to reach someone in the Academic Affairs Office, the International Programs, or Career Development, their office is going to be right here, and you're more than welcome to stop in anytime during business hours. And in case if you have a financial need question, our financial officer also works in this office too. That sounds great. How do you get involved with research during your first year? So typically, our scholars will reach out to faculty um, in their first semester if they can shadow in a research lab. This will give them the opportunity to get involved in research on campus, as well as take a hold of any of those opportunities to get more involved with our faculty here on Penn State's campus. What if I'm not a STEM major? Are there still research opportunities for me? Of course, Penn State's faculty are incredibly diverse and each one of them also have to have some sort of research within their position too. That's why they're faculty members of Penn State. What's the biggest difference between Schreier and just regular Penn State? Hmm. That's a great question. So the Schreier Honors College is gonna be an enrichment on your Penn State experience. You'll have a couple of requirements that we'll have in the Honors College too, but this gives you a better insight to be able to drive your curiosity as well as have academic excellence, building your global perspective, and we also create leadership opportunities through civic engagement. What does being in Schreier look like when doing an IUG program? That's a great question as well. We had 31 of our current scholars graduate with an IUG program and this is an undergraduate, it's an integrated undergraduate graduate degree program. So while you're taking classes here at Penn State, you'll also be able to potentially add a master's degree to that too. Sometimes our students will also be able to complete that program within four years. And when you're starting to get to the later part of your graduate program, you'll be able to have those graduate courses also count as your honors courses. What's the most popular study abroad program for scholars? It's a great question. We currently have three study abroad programs that we are offering to our Schreier scholars. The first one is London, Dublin. The next one is Thailand. And then the third one is going to be Portugal. That sounds amazing. Now what's the difference between honors and regular courses? That honors courses are not designed to become harder on the student. Instead, they're gonna be 
helping you think more critically and engaging with your other peers. So you'll be able to have a smaller class course where you'll be able to really have that one-on-one -on -one time with your faculty advisor and your professor. So you'll be able to understand exactly what your course needs. And then if anything, they're just gonna dive deeper into the material and maybe at a little bit of a faster pace. How do I take honors courses? That's a great question. There are a couple ways you can do that. First is gonna be, you can honors option, of course. So if you are in a regularly scheduled course for your major and there isn't an honors option for you, then you can create one for yourself. You'll do this by asking the faculty member who's teaching the program if they'll be able to give you an honors option. In addition to that, we also have 250 honors courses that are regularly honors courses of scheduled courses at Penn State. So you'll be able to take, instead of a regular science course, you can take a science honors course. And this way you'll be able to meet the requirements for Penn State and the Honors College as well. How many are we required to take? You're required to take 35 hours of honors credit hours while you're here at Penn State. What are the other requirements of Schreier? In addition to 35 hours of honors credit hours, you'll also be required to maintain a 3.4 GPA every semester and every year that you're a Schreier Scholar. And you'll also be required to write a thesis at the end of your term. What is a thesis? Great question. A thesis is something that's going to set you apart from all the other students who are also graduating at the same time. A thesis is, is designed for you to be able to take creative liberty in your major interests. So you can make it in a film or you can have it science-based. It is really up to you what you decide to do with your own thesis. So I know we get a regular advisor. Do we also get an honors advisor? Of course you do. In addition to your academic advisor, if you're accepted into the honors program, you'll have an honors advisor as well as a thesis advisor. So you'll have three people ensuring that you are doing what you need to do on time and that you're graduating when you want to graduate. What's the biggest difference between this honors college and other similar programs? That's a great question. So a lot of our students will compare our honors college to a community because that it really is what it is. It has that sense of belonging here and you're not competing against your peers when it comes to research opportunities, internships, or other global study abroad programs. It really is to foster that sense of belonging within our college and also to be able to give you your home away from home. That sounds great. That's all the questions I have. Well, that's great. We will, as you see behind me, this is the door to the Dean's Suite. And if you look behind me again, you'll see that his door is open. And when that door means it's open, it means it is literally and figuratively open. So if you're accepted as a Shire Scholar, you're more than welcome to see our Dean who also works and is here right below where you live. Thank you so much for joining with me on this tour of Atherton Hall, and we look forward to seeing your applications this coming fall. Bye.